curious about some studies that were done on infants and the way in which they gravitate to certain toys, colors, or objects. And the one I'm thinking of, I wish I could think of the, um, the person that who had done the study, but it was a little baby, a boy infant and a little girl, and how they, it, it almost seemed like it was an innate thing that she went to the doll and the baby boy went to, it was a truck. Yeah. So you're looking at a really, really a young ch child with not a whole lot of experience, but possibly some, but still the way that they just gravitated towards those particular objects that are in our society considered either female or ma male gender. So it's very interesting. Um, I mean, my son, when he was six months old, would take anything and go, <laughs> my daughter would put a blanket over whatever it was and tuck it in. And yeah, by then, they do already know gender. You can, you can do studies of sameness and difference. And gender is recognized very early, which means we are modeling, uh, you know, male and female behavior uh, so early that it's hard. I think it's the same question as the natural intelligences. Intelligence is, how do you do the experiment? How do you raise a boy and a girl exactly the same? They're both wearing green and yellow every day, and they have exactly the same experience. You can't. People come up to an infant and say, oh, what a big boy, or oh, what a cute girl. You just did it. You undid the control for the experiment. 